Guys, today we're doing a really easy half up, half down hair hack that I've been wearing lately. It's really casual, effortless look. It takes two seconds to put together. And you guys really love this photo that I posted on Instagram and requested that I do this style for you. So I'm gonna do that today. It is an easy hack. This is very simple, but you guys want to know how I got the look. So I'm going to show you. But before we get into that, I wanna give you a quick save the date. Mark your calendar for December 9th. I'm gonna be doing my first ever YouTube live stream here on the Natural 85 channel. And I am, I'm so excited, I'm so nervous. We're gonna be doing a 12 hour 12 hour live stream to raise money for the Epiphany School in Dorchester, Massachusetts. If you followed my vlog channel, you know I tried to organize something like this two or three years ago and it just fell through because as you guys know, the holidays come in really quickly and I just could never get in front of it. This year, we were able to organize it and it's going down December 9th. It's gonna be so much fun. I hope that you guys will mark your calendars. I hope that you will tune in. And yeah, it's just gonna be a really good time. Going forward, I wanna do this holiday drive yearly. Go to local organizations that are serving their communities in a positive way. A lot of holiday drives like to focus on bigger organizations, which is great, but I feel like the smaller organizations that really, really need a lot of help too, just kind of get looked over. These smaller organizations have a bigger impact, especially on the communities, on the youth. And I really feel like this is a great way to give back to local communities that affect me, that affect you guys watching, so that we can have a direct and positive impact on the organizations that are actually serving our communities. So that is my vision and my goal. And so I'm really excited that this is gonna be the first year. I picked an organization that was local to me. Obviously this is our first one, so so we're kind of getting our feet wet here. I, you know, I want to kind of know what to expect first. And I had the opportunity to visit the Epiphany School in Dorchester, Mass. I was invited because they have a Project Natural group where they talk about hair care and self-esteem through hair. And they basically teach the kids how to do their hair. So I came to speak with them. And I just fell in love with the kids and the school itself. It's an organization that I have never seen before. I've never heard of anything like this before. It is the most beautiful school I have ever seen. So what it is, is essentially a nonprofit tuition free school that serves youth that are disadvantaged, abused. They just haven't succeeded for whatever reason in traditional public schools. So it has kind of a private school curriculum, but at no cost to the families and the students. The school days themselves are 12 hours. It's focused on curriculum. It's focused on physical, emotional health. They have support systems in the school to speak with the kids, give them counseling. They have medical checkups in school. They give the children three healthy home cooked meals a day. They have extracurricular activities such as clubs like the one that I visited, which was Project Natural, but they also have the Brotherhood Club. They have Capoeira. They have have farming they have so many activities for these kids they take them out of the school they go on field trips they go to the orchestra they have sports they go to museums they give them cultural and social enrichment and in the school the hallways are just lined with student art social justice awareness it was I got chills okay it's it's a beautiful school and did I mention that all of that that I mentioned that the school provides for the students and the families are at zero cost to the families so the parents don't have to pay anything. This school is so good that there is a lottery to get in, okay? They have to turn kids away, which sucks, but they don't have all the funding that they need and all the teachers that they need to support more students. So they do the best they can. Another thing that's really special about this school is that a lot of the administration are students who have come back to give back to the school. So their students who graduated, went to college, got their degree in education, and came back to teach more kids. Is that not beautiful? So the Epiphany School is essentially a middle school, but it supports the students well into high school. They follow them into college, into graduate programs, and they help them get into the workforce. So they are seriously committed to changing lives, to shaping futures. There's so much more, like I can't even, I can't even tell you. At the 12 hour broadcast, I, I'm gonna have some administration from the school too there with me, cause they obviously can explain it so much better than I can, but this school blew my mind. It's beautiful. The Epiphany School here in Dorchester really is a trailblazer. They're really affecting the community in such a positive way. And so when I went and visited with them and when I learned about them, I knew that this was the first organization that I really, really, really wanted to do this holiday drive for. So I hope that you guys are super excited, as excited as I am. I'm sweating now because I'm talking a mile a minute, but I promise you I could talk about this school all day. 
it's beautiful. Yeah, so get excited. It's gonna be 12 hours live here on Natural 85. I, I, girl, it's gonna be a party. You better show up. You better show up to the party because we're gonna have games. We're gonna have challenges. We're gonna have prizes for people who donate. It's gonna be so much fun. I am. I'm so excited, you guys. You know, I love the hair. I love the beauty, the makeup, the fashion, yada, 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 all that. But when it comes down to it, I just wanna help. And so this is like really important to me. So I really do hope that you will be there at the 12 hour holiday drive to support, to say hi, to give, and to learn more about this awesome school. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop blabbering right now. I know I'm talking a lot. I told you it was a chit chat video though, didn't I? We chit chatted, didn't we? Didn't we? we chit chat. All right, guys, on to the hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. So my hair is a little bit more voluminous and shrunken today. It actually didn't get a chance to dry completely, but we have to go out today, so this is gonna have to do. This is really simple. I'm actually gonna show you three ways to do it using three different sets of tools. Just in case there's something in here that I show that you don't have, there's other options that I'm sure you will have. So the first way I'm going to show you is using these large duck bill clips uh, that I get from a website called Ficare. These clips are amazing. They hold all of my hair, all of it up in one clip. I'll link the website in the description box for you guys, but before you go there, just a quick disclaimer, these are, in my opinion, very overpriced. One clip will run you about 40 bucks. Some of them go for 50. I think that's a little ridiculous for a metal clip, but they work really, really well and they look really nice. So just your warning, I, I definitely do recommend getting them. These just do not break and they hold all my hair up. I just think that they're a little overpriced is all. I have two different clips here. This is a Maximus and this is, I forget what this is called, but this one's bigger. So if you are gonna buy one, just I would suggest go with the Maximus and get one that's the same color as your hair because it will disappear a little bit better. I'm not working with the company at all. I'm just trying to help you get the perfect clip because again, they are expensive. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do this half up, half down style using these Ficare clips. Ficare, Ficari, I don't know how you pronounce it. So all I I do is I put my head forward so that the hair in front will come forward a little bit and then I take my hands I just take it underneath and then I pull it back and then you can just kind of play with your hair see how you like it best I think this looks pretty good I usually like to keep like one little tendril one little tendril down just to make it look a little more you know effortless and carefree and I like my ears to show as well so that's it. I just hold the hair in place and I do one side at a time. I'm gonna put the clip in. Instead of putting the clip like this, so that the black is facing up, upwards, I put the clip this way, so that the black color is facing forward. So don't put it so the black is facing up. Put it so it's facing forward. And what this is gonna do is it's going to flip the curls forward so that not only do you get more volume, but it's gonna hide the clip. So, sliding it in with the black facing forward, clip it in place, that's it. Now before I let go of this side, I still have some hair that's not secure on this side, so I am gonna leave my hand in there and I'm going to kind of switch hands and we're gonna try to do this. I do usually try to get all the hair in one hand, but Today it's very voluminous and it wouldn't all fit, so yeah, I'm switching hands. If you can get it all in one hand, then by all means do. So we're again, we're finding our little tendril here. <laughs> and we are clipping up the sides. I just love this look, it looks so clean. Obviously, it doesn't take this long, I'm just, it's taking a while because I'm explaining it to you. So now I'm gonna go in with the second clip, which is this ugly yellow white color. <laughs> I hate this color. I'm gonna do the same thing. The white is gonna go in facing forward. And we're gonna start all the way on the side. Try to clip it as forward as you can. Um, and I'm going to allow the clips to overlap a little bit. And then you can let go. This is why I like the black better, you can see it. But all you have to do to fix this is just bring the curls forward and it will cover it. And that's it, that's your half up, half down look. And it takes two seconds, so that's all you have to do. Now obviously you can do this style without using the clips that I use. I've seen similar duckbill clips like this at Ulta that are less expensive, so maybe you wanna go and check there first if, before you order. You can also do these with regular hair clips, the kind that you use to like 
do your actual hair, like to separate your hair. I used to do it with these clips and then I decided to switch over to the Fakari clips just because, I don't know, I feel a little bit more put together. Same thing, just take the hair clip, face it forward and slide it in. Again, on the other side, face it forward and slide it in overlapping and then cover. Super easy. One more way to do it is just using a regular old bobby pins. This is my least favorite way to do this. Bobby pins can be a little bit uncomfortable to wear in your hair, especially if it's gonna be holding back this much hair, but it can be done. Just put the bobby pin in and you do need a couple of bobby pins to get this look. Whereas if you're just using those big duckbill clips, you only need two. That's the other advantage of using the duckbill clips. And also when you take these bobby pins out, they're gonna leave an imprint on your hair. When you take out the duckbill clips, they don't leave any imprint. So you kind of get like fresh hair again. So that's just another advantage of not using bobby pins. But here you go. That's with the bobby pins. It can be done. This is a little floppy. Oh, I left some hair out, but you know, whatevs. It doesn't feel very good and it's gonna leave an imprint, but it can be done. So that's it. That's how you get this effortless half up and down look. It's so simple to do. You're just lifting up the front, clipping it in place. You don't have to like struggle with your curls, trying to like, separate your hair, breaking your curls to put an elastic around it. Forget the elastics. Just use a clip, clip it in place and keep it moving. And it looks really cute. So I hope you give any of these methods a try. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.